Hey guys, welcome to your channel. In this video, you'll learn on how you can customize your product page on Shopify Dawn theme. So the first thing that we are going to do here is to simply log in to your Shopify store. Okay, so just click on this My Store option right here and then select your store. And then right here at the left side, you just have to click on the online store and click on themes. Okay, that's right. And you'll be able to see here your themes. So currently we're using this theme. So I'm just going to click on the Dawn theme. Okay, so just click on publish in order to use this theme. Okay, so let's go back right here. Now that we have successfully added our Dawn theme, we have to make sure that we have products on our store. Okay, so before we customize this theme, I'm going to show you how you can add your products. So let's go here at the top left and click on the products option. That's right. And as you can see, these are the products that are on my store as of the moment. Now just click on the add product option at the top right if you don't have products yet. And right here you can add the details of your product or you can also use another tool in order to import products from different suppliers. So now let's go back to your online store and select themes and then click on the customize option. That's right, and it'd be directed to this page. Now, the next thing that we should do is you just have to simply click on the pages at the top center and then just click on the products. Okay, that's right, and then just click on default product. So you just have to assign it to all of your products. Okay, so this is your product page as of the moment. Now we can start customizing this one. So now that we're here, we can now start customizing by clicking on a specific section. Okay, so for example, this section right here, you would like to customize this one. So you just have to click on it. And then right here at the left side, you have this edit section. Okay, so this is a section where you can customize this product page. Okay, so let us start with the enable sticky content on a desktop. And let's see what is the difference if we are going to disable this one. Okay, so let us enable this once again. Okay, so we can see the difference that the media stop the moment it scrolls down. Okay, so I'm just going to click on chat for that one. Now for the color scheme. I wanted to change this one so you just have to click on the background color and then you just have to select the color that suits your needs okay so i think i'm going to use a lighter one so you just have to drag this little circle okay so i think this color is good so let us proceed to the color of the text so let's just stick to color black now for the solid button background I am going to use this color. Okay, so let me just show you right here at the right side. So this is the button that we need. Next is the solid button label. Okay, so the color label of that button. So we are going to use white and then for the outline button. So we're going to use black or this one. So I'm just going to stick with black. And if you would like to change the color of the shadow, then you can do that as well. So after the color scheme, let us proceed to the media. Now for the desktop media width. So we have small, medium, and large. So let us try to click on medium. So this is the size. Now for small, as you can see, the size changes. So I think small is better so i'm going to stick with that now for the constraint media to screen height okay so i'm just going to select original for this one and for the desktop layout so if you are going to select um thumbnail carousel right here you'll be able to see the difference okay so if you would like to use this one then you just have to select the desktop layout I think I'm going to stick with a stock one, but I'm going to show you the two columns as well. Okay, so I don't like this kind of layout. I'm just going to stick with the stock. Okay, next one is a desktop media position. So here you have left and right only. So I'm just going to select left for this one. 
next is for the um, image zoom so we can open light box click and hover or no zoom and right here we also have the mobile layout so you can customize this one as well now let's proceed in customizing the other section which is the bottom section of this page okay so let me just check some information right here okay so it's all good now i'm just going to click on this section right here okay so you just have to click on it and then right here let's go to the left side so we can adjust here the maximum products to show so you can adjust it to three four five but i think four is the best one so i'm just going to stick with four Next is the number of columns on a desktop. So you can adjust this one as well. And if you'd like to change or edit the color scheme, so you can do that as well. Now for the product card, for the image ratio, you can adapt to image, portrait, or square. And then for the image shape, so for example, arc. Okay, so this is how it's going to look like. Now if you would like to show second image in hover, so you just have to click on this one or show vendor you can also show product rating okay so just have to simply check that box okay and we also have here the mobile layout so if you would like to customize this one so you just have to do the same okay so we have here section padding theme settings and more now let us customize the top section of this page so we have this one right here. So for the desktop logo position, I'm going to select top center. And then for the menu, so you can change the menu right here. Now for the desktop menu type, just going to use the drop down or mega menu or drawer. I'm just going to stick with the drop down. And for the sticky header, you can select on scroll app. And then you have here more settings that you can customize. So before we save this one, let us preview this in mobile view. Okay. So if you think everything is good, so you don't have to change anything. Now let us preview this to full screen. Okay. So everything is working well. After that, you just have to simply click on the save option at the top right. And then we can preview this product page. So just click on the three that's right here and then just click on view okay so when someone visit our product page okay so when they click on that specific product okay this is how it's going to look like so you know investing time and effort into customizing your shopify product pages can lead to a more effective and successful online store so that's it for this video if you think this video helped solve a concern please subscribe like this video and leave your comment below Bye.